Hello. Welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Capricorn weekly money and career reading from June 17th to the 23rd, 2024. Capricorns, welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have for this upcoming week. Capricorn weekly money and career. June 17th to the 23rd, 2024. Thank you for being here. I hope you are all well. Be on the lookout on the here out for the magic word if you're interested in putting your name in the hat for a free reading. All you have to do is put the magic word down below in the comment section and be subscribed. I will pull one name and announce it at the end of the month of June. All right, Capricorn, let's see what's going on here. Queen of Wands, Aries Leo Sag, but also you feeling confident. I like this. Ready, set, go. Capricorn, let's see. Page of Swords, new. We have a new idea. Um, it's refreshing. You're moving forward on this. A lot of communication or sudden movement forward or a lot of texting emails, messages, or maybe you're even traveling or having to move or go somewhere or something, right? It's it, it's moving forward. And I feel like you're confident in this new idea, project, job, business, school, whatever this is, Page of Swords. Um, the Page of Swords is, <clears throat> sorry, new energies, but also, um, really the excitement of either having an idea, right? Being like chitty chatty, um, uh, excited about that idea, right? Um, needing to, or, or having a lot of conversations about it. You know how when we start a business or we just start a job or we just start to work on a team and, you know, work on something and everybody's in very enthusiasm and we talk, talk, talk about it and we, everybody has a lot of ideas, right? That enthusiasm. It feels like that. And it feels like there's a lot of debates or a lot of, uh, but in a good way, right? It's that er nervous energy you have um, when you're starting something Maybe you're apprenticing and, and it's exciting because you're just starting a school or a training program or classes or something. And so you have lots of goals, lots of ambition. And it feels like, you know, you, you're going to reach these goals with, you know, a few extra classes or extra education or something like that. It feels like you're at the really, really very, very like early stages of a new career. And um, um, drawing energy and ideas from other people, a lot of communication. And it feels like a lot of communication from other people that actually have a lot of experience. Exciting. This is exciting. So, but we do have the moon. So it's like you're, you're still waiting for answers or you're still confused on something or you're still um, indecisive on something. Weighing your options, yes, two of pentacles, like um, what am I supposed to do? You probably have a decision to make or, or maybe you have a decision to make before you start these classes or this project or this thing, whatever it is. It's going to be different for everyone, but it's just something very enthusiastic. So it feels like the beginning of a new career, but it feels like you need that training before or something, right? And you have to weigh pros and cons. You have to adapt to something. You have to figure out your priorities. What are you going to do? And you're still uncertain, like, am I going to start this new training program? Am I into this school? Should I do this? Maybe you're, maybe you're not quite sure. But it feels like there's a sudden movement forward here, even though you're not quite sure. You're waiting for something, or you're indecisive on something, or you don't have all the information, or you feel you don't have all the information or not secure enough to make a decision, something like that. Okay, well, here come the answers, Capricorn. Here come the answers. 
queen of swords. So you want to have these conversations. You want to know what's going on. You want, you want a clear vision of what you need of maybe documents, maybe information, or you want to be very clear that you have all the information before you make the decision to start this program. Too many cards. Let me just do this again, right? That's the way it feels. So the Queen of Swords is very empowered. Very good. Nice. You're celebrating. So she's very empowered intellectually. You're coming into clarity on something. So I like that. So I, I feel like this confusion is revolved by get resolved by getting the answers or having the right conversations or, you know, getting the truth or getting the documents or, you know, people telling you everything you need to know so you have clarity. Am I taking these? Okay. <laughs> it just comes out in a pack. Okay, yes. And there we go. So you're celebrating being in the right place, being with like-minded people, being in that school, in that training program, in the classes, or, and it doesn't have to be that, you can be starting your job, you can be starting your business, you can be starting, but you, it feels like it's something new. So whether you're shifting your career or starting the, a new job or something like that, it feels like it is the right idea, it's exciting, it's exciting. And, and, and the Ace of Cups is really that utter joy of working with these people or working with like-minded people or working in the right space to be able to learn or develop whatever it is you are working on. Seven of Swords, okay, why are you? There, there's someone there that you're not trusting. The Emperor, okay. Okay, so that's probably why you have the moon. You don't have all the answers or you're not trusting the emperor here, uh, a boss or a professor or maybe a father figure, someone around you or a leader. This is, this is a decision maker. This is someone uh, that is ruling here, right? And so... Um, Either this is you finally becoming clear on your choice, on your choices, right, with the emperor, um, knowing what you want, knowing that this is the right thing, and then moving forward in something smoother, softer. Um, or this is this combativeness with the emperor here that you don't trust. Or maybe this is, this could be a family member that doesn't believe in what you're doing or someone around you or father figure or even someone else that you worked with or a co-worker or an ex-boss or a boss or something right um but it's someone powerful so this is either you coming in your strength and deciding and this is what you want to do and you're excited and you're owning it you're owning it and you're not going to let anybody get in your way so if there's someone there whether it's the emperor here or maybe the King of Wands here that you feel doesn't believe in you or doesn't think this is the right thing you should do, whatever. You're owning your new path, your decision. It's taking a minute. It's your dream. This is something you've been wanting to do with a star. You've been hoping for this. You've been dreaming of this. Maybe it's going back to sources. Maybe it's going back to something you really enjoyed. Maybe it's something essential for you. But it's, it's moving you into a calmer energy where you will be able to um, protect, protect this inspiration, protect this imagination, this creation, this new career. You're protecting your career long term by by working or being with these people that are going to allow you to create and believe in you and let you grow. This is a really, really good 
place to be in, team to be in, school to be in, company, whatever it is. Even though they're people, or maybe it's just one person that doesn't believe in you. Wow. Okay, so we have the Queen of Swords, Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords, King of Swords, and the Page of Swords. Okay, well, we have everyone here. Wow. Okay, so this is all about the mental. Exciting idea, but really, really empowered mentally. It's all about truths. It's all about believing in yourself and others believing in you. It is a new, this is a new career you are training for, whatever it is. But my oh my, is there air energy here? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I don't think it's about signs here. You have the whole suite. So this is, the Queen of Swords is someone very honest. So I feel like you're very honest in what you want to do. You're very principled. Also fair, right? This is... This is something, or it can be someone older around you. It can be someone um, a bit stern without emotions. And maybe that's the person around you that, you know, uh, is not very warm and fuzzy and is telling you, uh, you know, telling you like it is. But I think it is really you understanding that it's important to make a decision or judgment without relying on emotions, without relying on people, people's perception of you or opinion of you or what you're doing or your choices. And I think that you are relying and, and then looking at all facts before making this decision and you're connecting with the right people, utilizing your ideas, your intellect. And maybe this is your idea. Maybe this whole thing is stemming from your idea, an amazing idea, right? Maybe that's that. And maybe that's why you have all the suite of swords because it's about integrity, truth, understanding, but also relying on that and not emotions to make your decisions. This is where I want to be. This is what I want to work on. I am happy. I, I'm, I'm excited. I'm ambitious. This is giving me, a, giving me a lot of goals here. But also, it's empowering me intellectually. So even if you're maybe... A little obsessive on this, a little impatient on this because it's new. And it really feels like that. It's almost like the teenager excitement when we do something new or we found new friends or whatever. We're doing a new activity or whatever, something we're excited about. So this is like something you probably have strongly wished to manifest. It's a power. It's powerful. It's powerful. So it almost feels like you want, with all these swords, it almost feels like you want to work with a certain person or in a certain dynamic or in a certain company or in a certain team to, you know, work on that idea in that field, whatever it is. It's going to be different for everyone. And it's like almost this obsessiveness, full of energy, right? obsessiveness to be on that team or obsessiveness to work with that person that has a lot of experience or maybe the best in their domain or something like that right but it has to be balanced right with the with the knight of swords but i think that it's going from the page of swords to the knight of swords to the queen of swords to the king of swords to you know almost like childlike obsessiveness and passion on something I'm seeing video games. So maybe you have a maybe you have a an idea on a video game or maybe you're a gamer and you know, I don't know. I don't know anything about games, but you can tell me if that's you. Um but it's like you're there's no stopping you. 
You don't care about challenges. It's like sheer ambition and sheer determination to, to succeed no matter what. So just be careful not to be too obsessive and not to be, to be irrational in your decisions, right? Because you're still waiting for some answers and it feels like there are certain things or energies or people you're not trusting completely. But then we have the, the King of Swords, which is, you know, finally finding that mental clarity. So I really think that you're going through the whole gamut of mental um, uh, thinking. I know that doesn't make sense, but thinking your way through this transition as you move into this new program, job, business, whatever it is, um, you're finding clarity and maybe it's taking you a minute to see if you're going to do this, how you're going to do it, when you're going to do it, right? It's the whole transition. They're waiting for those answers and in between. And maybe you're waiting for a callback or waiting for, your, oh, maybe you're waiting for an answer to get into that school or into that program. And while you're waiting, you have all the gamut of mental, I, I, there are not many cups here. There are no cups, right? It's all about, oh, well, they're the Ace of Cups. But that's about creativity and being with a really, really cool team, right? Just excited to be working with these people. But people are paying attention to you. I think that you're amping this up and, and, and little by little going from the page to the king. And it's really, yeah, people, maybe maybe it's a competition or maybe it is very competitive to get into this program, whatever it is, or to get this job even, right? And you have to go through multiple interviews. That's the way it feels like because you're really amping it up. And at one point, you really can, you really have clarity and you really can judge a situation appropriately. Like you go with, from a, an energy that's very passionate and a little immature to something very clear on how you're going to get there and what is certainly not going to get in your way and, and to really being in a very competitive environment and, and waiting for answers and not quite sure to really not caring anymore, not paying attention to anybody around you. You're going to do this. You're going to get this. You're going to get in no matter what, whatever this is. Oh, probably because you were disillusioned before and this time it's not going to happen to you. All right, let's see. Let's see if we have a few more. Uh, if it feels like you had several options, maybe you were disillusioned before. That's why you have this, um, this Seven of Swords. Let's see. Yeah. complete transition here, complete transformation. And it feels like with the Six of Cups, it's like reminiscing the old times, but now having it to adapt to the new and really letting go of the past career or letting go of the past, letting go. Yes, and again, again, the uh, Ace of Cups, which is really a new beginning with the right people, the right team and the right company or in the right subject Whatever it is, highly competitive it feels, but it feels like you are you're winning here for sure. Um, but it's taking its time with the temperance, right? These are good messages, positive messages. Um, but it's taking its time, and that's probably why you have the moon because you don't have all the answers yet, or you don't have the green light yet, or you know you you don't have the full approval or the full acceptance, whatever it is you're looking for, right? Um, and with the temperance, it's, it's just saying tempo, right? Patience, patience. It's all about patience with temperance. Understanding, you know, that um, keep that balance going. Don't push, push, push. That's not going to work. It's like this is a slow evolution, but a constant evolution because you're going to be resonating with the right people. So it's time to recover, ref recover your flow, right? Get your life back in order and balance and, and just remain calm. 
even when it feels stressful and competitive, just maintain and manage your emotions, right? It's about learning to keep composed within a competitive world or within a stressful world. So, you know, it's about not letting those little things annoy you anymore and, and just understanding that balance and calmness and tranquility are going to help you achieve this fulfillment here in this amazing thing you're going to be part of. It's, it's also about just staying in your lane at the moment, at the moment. I think people say, see that you're brilliant. And, but for you, to be able to do this, you really have to let go of something and, and, you know, let go of your old self. So if this is a brand new career or you're getting accepted in that school or in that program or in that job, it's really releasing your old self. You're not that anymore. You're evolving. And with the temperance, it's, 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 um, it's almost like that revelation with all those swords. Putting yourself in residence with people and or team or company, whatever it is that makes sense to you, but all with patience and moderation, just knowing that it might be slow, but it will be constant and it's going to allow you to remain yourself. People are going to accept you for who you are, for your ideas, for your talent, for whatever, for whatever you're bringing to the table. And... Um, Whatever disillusion you had or are having um, about people maybe that didn't believe in you or didn't see you for who you really are, I think that now you're going to take the time to listen and assimilate this new environment you're going to be in and, you know, take the time to discover to meet these new people, to discover your new environment and, and uh, to talk to these people. There's a lot of communication there. There's a lot of mental power. There's a lot of mental creativity. There's a lot of, um, a lot of intellectual power here. So I don't know what this is all about. I don't know what energy you're entering here, but it is pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. So you're definitely stepping into the big league, the big league for sure or you're starting to train for something really really important here and people are seeing you capricorn they are seeing you so but take your time and remain balanced at all costs because this is probably highly competitive uh and uh, maybe not a not an easy program or job or whatever to get into. Yes, look at this again. The, the um, wow, very empowered. But it's also it's giving you clarity on on what it is you want to do. Like you, whatever confusion you had before, you know now. This is clear in your mind, and you're not going to take any nonsense. So. I do feel there was disillusion before or people you didn't trust or that's why you have that trust issue. Yeah, here we go. So here you're in a, a whole total creative mode. You're going to grow into this. This is your place to be. Can be artistic or intellectual artistic, whatever it is. Uh, it's empowering and you're going to grow into this. This is your lane, your career, your moment to grow and shine. Um, but it's also letting go, yeah, the past disillusion or the past toxic manipulative energy, whatever it was, the devil, but you're leaving that behind. And now I understand the disillusions because whatever this devil is, now the devil doesn't automatically have to be yeah, family they didn't believe in you or people you know that you know it it's it can be that but it can also be 
the job you were stuck in before with contracts or obligations and, and you just felt stuck there and you didn't know how to get out of it. And so, or you felt like that was the right thing to do or that was the right place to be and you had to remain in that job and that was the way it was and that was gonna be your career. And so here, the, the transition of it really feels like a whole different career. You're, it's, a, it's, a, it's a 180. And maybe as you do this 180, as you decide to leave a whole career behind and have this huge transition, transformation, um, not everybody understands your decision, right, to do this. And so that's why we have the Eight of Cups, knowing, you know, that you're going to leave maybe friends behind maybe co-workers that were friends whatever it is it's it's it, it brews a lot of emotion and no matter how, no matter how you cut it even if you're extremely excited and passionate about this new training program job environment whatever it is there is still a part of you that has to detach itself from that old chapter right what it, wherever you were doing and maybe you're moving I mean even maybe you're relocating maybe you have to go to school somewhere completely different or maybe you're taking a job in a different place doesn't have to be but it is really um requiring you to leave a chapter behind but for the good I mean for something very empowering and very interesting Beautiful reading. Absolutely beautiful reading, Capricorns. I hope you enjoy this reading as much as I did. Thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you to each and every one for sharing your energies, for being here, for connecting and watching these readings. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Gratitude to each and every one. I want to say that the magic word is here is passion. I mean, passion. <laughs> Uh, so if you're interested in putting your name in the hat for a free reading, all you have to do is put the word passion down below in the comment section and be subscribed. Thank you so much for watching Capricorn. Have a great week. Take care. Bye-bye.